Hi there, and today's story quest is Before and After Science, where we're going to have to fight the storm. So we've got a few little things to go through first that we've unlocked. Many are power level and our commander level, which are two completely separate entities. Our power level, which is currently one dictates just how strong we are, how much health, shield, how much damage we can do. And then our commander level is probably better known as the account level, which I think it is called at these days. And that's just for the XP that we get from completing missions. When we refer to our in-game level, it normally means our power level as that's quite a good indicator as to how far we've progressed into the game. For fear of overloading with information, I am just going to completely skip over survivor squads at a minute, but we will be covering survivor squads, how to raise your power level, and how best to slot your survivors in a later upload. Alright, so now we can change our heroes. So if you have bought one of the packs, like uh, I've got Powerhouse, you can select that one. Whichever one you have might be different depending on the time you bought it. And um, we've also unlocked Base Kyle, which is probably one of the best constructors in the game. There's our powerhouse, he has his shockwave and when we can level him up he'll get the frag grenade as well and all of his other abilities. But for now we just settle for the shockwave. Which is probably a little bit more useful than the grenade at this point. So here we see all of our heroes that we currently own. There's all of our soldiers, all our constructors, well our constructor. We don't have any ninjas yet and we don't have any outlanders either. Alright, so let's get into the quest which is before and after science. So we've got to complete a fight the storm mission. So let's go. So on our way to our objective, there's our nice little survivor. We could leave him there to the fate of the husks, but as we're supposed to be heroes, we may as well just set about saving him. Not quite sure how safe he thinks he's going to be stood on a car, just screaming, there are husks! Running would have been better, but... Ah, we never said they were intelligent survivors. Fortunately for him, it seems that husks can't actually climb on top of a car. You are the best. 
Yeah, you're the best. I'm the best that you're going to get. Keep up the good work. I think give me some little goodies. So, always worth rescuing your survivors. This does not inspire confidence. Let's see what's inside. And this inspires even less confidence. Let's take a look around. Vendertech Labs began developing experimental weapons. Normally I'd find that kind of thing disturbing, but these days, I'm all about it. It looks like this lab was working on something called an atmospheric laser. I've downloaded the schematic. Let's test it out. Okay, to start, we'll need some blue glow to power the weapon. There should be some in this lab. Then, I've got a hunch we'll want to stock up on bullets. There are two ways to craft bullets. You can open your inventory and select the bullets you want to craft. Or you can hold reload on your current weapon to auto-craft the bullets you need. Let's craft some bullets. the target on your map. Target. According to the lab's computers, you place the atlas on the target, add blue glow, and wait. Sounds simple. Way to go! Prepare for an attack from the west. Build some basic reinforcements to protect the atlas. This storm will be stronger than what we saw at home base. Uh, so when it comes to basics builds, they don't really get more basic than a pyramid. More than one way to build a fort. So just nine little mini windows, pyramids, doors, edit them all up, make one big pyramid, menu, and I tend to put a flat top on it. Just makes it easier for me to see, walk around, resource. and keep an eye on everything that's going on. Occasionally the little critters will spawn just to interrupt you. 
make it that little bit more fun. Right, so that's all the defences I actually want to build there. Now if we go out to where the spawn is. All we'll do is we'll just add some little uh, walls and stairs, what we call block offs, just to do exactly what they say really, block the husks from walking, so they can actually go where we want them to go. Yeah, a few walls, a few stairs behind them. The husks really just want to walk straight line, half of least resistance from where they spawn to the objective. So you can shuffle them along a few tiles left or right. Like I said, by placing some block offs, they've either got a choice of standing there, beating on two layers of builds, or just walk a little bit to the side and have a nice easy ride of it. And we'll just build a tiny little tunnel, get all the husks walking through there nicely, maybe pop a few traps in it, give them some low walls just so they've got a little bit further to walk, and keep them in them tunnels for as long as uh, we reasonably can. Yeah, the wooden floor spikes are great because they uh, give what's known as a snare effect. But we can't craft any, so we'll just go for the retractable floor spikes. And put a little uh, ceiling zapper above it. You know, when will I notice I haven't reached the build limit? That's the question. Can't start it. Need to add some more builds. There we go, now we've realised. Nice work. And just for completionist's yeah. sake, Open I'm gonna put them all the way around, apart from one at the front. Start it up and close our pyramid. That's enough blue glow. Here come the husks. And there goes the core temperature. Uh oh. Uh, no need to worry. Yet. So now we see the husks walking down our little tunnel. Because we barely have to aim at them, just shoot straight down the middle. Like fish in a barrel. Which is very good job really because my aim is well to put it bluntly I can't hit the back side of a cow with a banjo.
that's it. We've descended our atmospheric laser. Or atlases, we'll just uh, call them from now on. for a account level. And a level three loot chest. our quest before and after science complete thanks for watching and cheerio